I like the way you push him. I heard Corey B at the beginning. You told her she better, she better get her weight up when it comes to that singing. Hey, because it is what it is, man. You did she come to you and say she wanted to be on the record, or did you mm -mm, surprise mm -mm. her and say? Nah, she was singing and doing her thing, making singles and doing her little videos. But I heard this song, and I could just hear her voice because I'm listening to her sing. I'm like, wow. So I'm like. I go home and I tell her, I'm like, Corey B, I want you to be on this record I got. She's like, all right, I'm like, I'm gonna play it for you. So I played it for her, she learned it, went in and did it, and then I put Drake on it, you know, as a surprise, you know, to let her know that it was gonna be a real record, because she like, mm -hmm. we didn't done like five songs, they never <laughs> came out, that when you gonna put me on a real song, I mean, with a real video, not just a video on YouTube, but a real video and a real this and that. I'm like, all right, I got you. So when I put Drake on it, she was like, oh my God, this is real. Drake is on the song. I said, and guess what? We doing the video <laughs> with me, you, and Drake. That's wild. Was there any was there any time you had a shadow of doubt with the tra with, with when you went to Jamaica and you started doing this transition? Was there ever a shadow of a doubt? How did Jamaica embrace you? I don't ever doubt nothing. I do. I'm a winner. I love to win. I hate to lose. And just trust me. I'm a sore loser. I'm like a little baby when I lose. <laughs> I cry. I pull my hair out. Cuss, throw people out, leave you stranded. I'm, I'm just a, a sore loser, so I love to win, and I, I prepare to win. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I, I do all the things that you, that you must do to win. Mm -hmm. And winning to me is not based on success. It's based on touching people's souls and, and making people smile and changing people's lives and affecting people with the words that I write. And for people to come to me and say that I love you and you've been a part of my life and you know. Your music is, it's, it's raised me, you know what I mean? To, to, to say that my music has raised you, mm -hmm. that's real to me because it's like, you've been with me on my journey. You're a part of my life too because you helped me. Because it was moments in my career where I was down and out and felt like everybody's against me, I ain't winning, I'm, I can't seem to please nobody. You know, because when you come out and you sell four or five million records and then your next record sell two million, you considered a failure. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I'm two albums deep, seven million strong. I was eating out of a box of noodles and, you know, cornbread and crackers and, you know what I'm saying, now that it's in gumdrops and jelly beans. And now I'm doing it big. I don't think this is a, a failure, but the public persona can kill you if you buy into it, if you listen to it. So what I learned was an old friend told me this. I think it was James Brown told me, all publicity is good publicity. You just got to learn how to turn that negative publicity into positive. And once I figured that out, mm -hmm. like even when I would get caught with a gun or got caught with weed or I would go to jail or I would do this or do that, I could spin it and go get a merchandising deal and go get an endorsement deal and go do a commercial with Lee Iacocca and go do this and go do that. And they're like, well, how does he still able to go? He just got out of jail and he just did a commercial. Game, baby. Game is to be sold, not to be told. How uh, the Jamaican accent, it's infectious. And I hear a little, sometimes, especially on that record, I hear some tinges of it. Did yeah, you, I put the patois on it. I put that patois. <laughs> you put it yeah, on. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? The writers was telling me, they was like, you know, when they was writing this music, they was like, you sound good when you, when you go all the way there. Because mm. I'm like, I can go all the way there. They're like, man, go all the way there. So a couple of records, I really was like, all the way in there, you know what I'm saying? And I pull back and like, they're like, no, nah, I don't pull it back, go all the way in. I'm like, all right, and I go all the way in. Then when they mix the record, I'm listening to it, I'm like, wow, I really went Jamaican on them. For real, I hear it. And it's a hard accent, because you can sound, it's a very difficult accent. Yeah, it can either be up. fake, yeah, 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 or yeah. either be on point. Yeah, it was Yeah, but it's, I was grooming, and if you listen to any early Snoop Dogg, Snoop Doggy Dogg, mm -hmm. go back to him. Mm -hmm. He had reggae influences. Black blam, blam to them fall. Listen, Listen to, to the, the sounds of my doggy dog. What about Dr. Dre? Him boss gunshots. Diggity dance and RBX, them boss gunshots. Come again. I forgot about that. Please don't. I forgot about that. Please don't. Man, I do one this. Of my favorite Hello. albums. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, man, that was 92. <laughs> that was 21 years ago. So you've yeah. also enjoyed, you, you've always enjoyed Jamaican culture. You've, it's always. Man, something. come on, man. It's been so dear to my heart, man. I've always loved the way they are, the people, 
Like mm -hmm. the ones I met, I met some real gangster Jamaicans too early in the 80s, like super gangster. They used to sell weed in the hood that was, yeah, blood clot, <laughs> Ross clot, you know, real ones, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And then I met the singers, and then I met the personas, and I met the, the, the real rosters, and I met, you know, I met different versions of it to where it was always around me. And I had relationships with Prince I tell Joe, rest in peace, Barrington Levy, close friend of mine. So I've had relationships with real guys that come from that genre who are really my friends. Mm -hmm. So it's always been an influence and they always been getting me to do dub plates and you know things mm -hmm. that were relevant dub to that world. Plates. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So now that I jumped all the way in, it's not like, oh, he's a brand new fish in the water. No, he been swimming with us for a while. I mean, what was your experience like in Jamaica? Like how do you, what, do you, what did you take away from that experience? Because you were there for how long? I was there for like 15, 16 days straight. I took one day off to go to Muhammad Ali's birthday party oh, right. in Vegas, and then I flew back. And what, what was that experience like? I can't, I mean, the experience was, it was tranquilizing, man, because I've always been peaceful and calm, but, like, agitation. I get agitated by small things. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys can get me into confrontations over small things can push my buttons. Now that I've completed my journey, I'm able to control that particular anger that I never had no control over. And I love it that I'm able to exalt that. If you watch my movie, it was a particular scene where there was a guy that just came up and was just talking to gang <laughs> Come to me, barbershop. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't even know how to hit this. He was just going mm -hmm. bad on me, just cussing and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. And the dog in me wanted to slap the dog out of him. I wanted to slap the protein out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. But I had to think, his camera's rolling. We in Tiffany Garden on the striker block. My lion kicked in and pushed pause, tone down, conversation, check him, firm with love. Come take this picture. <laughs> and get on out of here. And is that why you're calling this more of a reincarnation than a transformation? Definitely, because it's still the dog in me. You mm -hmm. know, it's nothing but the dog in me. And I don't believe he's gonna ever leave because you know he's the futuristic Bow Wow, crowned by George Clinton himself. It's just you have to know when it's time to stand up for something, especially when you've been falling for everything. And that's just the point that I'm at right now. I feel like this record. And this movement is a stand-up record. It's a stand-up movement record. I love the fact that brothers like Public Enemy was able to do this through hip-hop, their whole movement. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able to, mm -hmm. but I found my groove. And I'm having fun doing it, spitting my message, and keeping it positive. And I'm going to ride this Snoop Lion thing for as long as it needs to be rolled to get the message out. Is it permanent? It's, is it something you can see? I don't it? believe nothing is permanent. I believe... Uh, it's necessary and whenever it's necessary to be called upon and, and it's just a lane I created you know Superman is Clark Kent you know he go to work sometimes and do the newspaper report then at the end of the day he leaves the daily news and put that cape on and fly through the sky and I believe that's what I do you know I'm not Superman mm -hmm. I'm Snooperman. Last question before we go is there anyone on this planet who's more proud of you other than your wife? She must be, I feel like, seeing that transformation and knowing, um, you know, some things that have been in the press some time ago that she must be really proud. I think I have to say my kids and my mama. Because, see, my mother raised me in church. So anytime you're a parent and you raise your kid in church, you always want them to find their way back to the church. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe I found my way back to the church. I believe I created the church. And that's bigger than she could even imagine because going to church sometimes is hypocritical and it's boxed in. But if you create a church and you open it up to the whole globe, you're saving more lives than you could in that church anyway. Because there's more sinners on the streets than it is in the church. Bad boy. Respect every Respect. time. Bless up. Right.